Now, uh, remember uh, that in practice, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these uh, networks that we use, especially in mixed signal, is where we are not really interested in the entire output waveform. We are only interested in the sampled value of the waveform and that sample it corresponds the rate at which the output is sampled is the same as that at which the system, system is varying right so uh, so noise in sampled lptv system circuits i would say right and this uh, the idea is the following well, uh, we have an input which is Vn and then this is a network N which is LPTV at Fs right? and this is V out and we are interested in the statistical properties of our V out of N times T. Right. Most of the time, we are interested only in the mean square value of the noise. Hmm. Well, this is uh, uh, you know as you can imagine much easier to handle, right? Uh, because as we've already seen, this is equivalent to taking V n, passing it through an LTI system, H equivalent of J two pi f, right? This is LTI. All right, and uh, this is V out of NTS. Right, the sequence here and the sequence here are the same. Okay, but uh, the waveform here is not necessarily V out hat is not necessarily the same as V out. Right, uh, but the sequences, the sample sequences are. Hmm? So, well, this is uh, uh, this is easy. What comment can we make about the uh, the noise spectral density there? Very good. This we already know because the noise spectral density uh, there, S V out hat of F, is nothing but S V N of f times mod h equivalent of j 2 pi f the whole square correct. So, what comment can we make about uh, and because if v of a v n is stationary then v out hat of t the noise uh, at the output is also going to be stationary which basically means that it is uh, uh, its mean square value does not change with time. So, at whatever time you sample it, the mean square value remains the same, correct. So, the mean square value of the samples is simply, how do we, uh, how do you think we can do this? This is the spectral density of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, the waveform at the output, right. So, if you want to find the mean, uh, the mean square value, you integrate this from uh, you know minus infinity to infinity or 0 to infinity depending on if you are working with single sided or double sided spectrum. So, S V n of f h equivalent of j 2 pi f whole square t f. Okay. And this is independent of n simply because uh, you know the uh, the process of the output of the time invariant filter is stationary. All right. So uh, again, if you know h equivalent of j two pi f, then this calculation becomes straightforward. Now, if you have multiple noise sources, uh, what will you do? Well. Well, yeah, I mean, you find uh, an equivalent time invariant transfer function from each noise source to the output and then repeat this calculation, right. Uh, 